Hello, it's Nick and today I want to review 7 popular GPTs for product designers. You can find these GPTs at Chat OpenAI Com GPTs and you need to have a Chat GPT Plus subscription to use them. The first GPT is a Canva. Canva is an online graphic design tool that allows you to quickly create banners, social media posts and posters. Let's try to create an Instagram post for a specific product, a robot dog toy for kids. Canva asks us to provide specific details about the message we want to communicate. Once we provide this information, GPT connects to the Canva service to visualize it. Based on the original prompts and details we've provided, Canva generates two designs for us. And to be honest, both options look very average. First option is more relevant to our goals since it shows a robot dog. Once we click on the option 1, we will navigate to the Canva tool, where we can refine this design. So, this GPT is more like a shortcut to the Canva service rather than a standalone design tool. Designer GPT is the next tool on our list. This GPT promises to create and host beautiful websites. Based on suggested prompts, you can imagine that the tool creates websites with simple layouts. Let's ask the tool to create a web page for a robot dog toy. The tool clearly understood our intention and told us that the page would have a welcome aesthetic and even some functional elements, such as subscription form. Similar to the Canva GPT, this tool also sends requests to the third-party service to complete the operation. Once design is ready, it provides a link to generate the web page. When we click the link, we will see a web page. And from the first glance, this web design doesn't have a welcoming aesthetics. The page is a simple one-column layout that doesn't have an image. The good thing about this design is that it features real text copy. The beauty of GPT is that we can iterate design in real time, asking the tool to fix design issues. In my case, I asked the tool to change a photo on this page to a photo of a real dog. The tool did that and provided a link to updated version. At least now we have a nice looking dog on this page. Next GPT is called Logo Creator and as you probably guessed, it creates logos. Let's ask the tool to generate a logo featuring a robot dog. The tool asks a few questions to clarify the visual style, logo complexity and colors. Once you provide all this information, the tool generates a logo for you. This GPT likely uses DALI 3 to generate images, so I believe you can achieve a similar result by interacting with the DALI 3 directly using a chat GPT. Grimoire is next on our list and this GPT can help you with coding. The description says that it can even create a website from a sentence. Unlike other GPTs we've covered before, sample prompts for Grimoire might look a bit cryptic, but the tool will explain the logic behind these commands once you start to interact with it. Let's ask the tool to write a code for online survey with three specific questions. Once you submit a command, you notice a tone of voice. It feels like you interact with a Gandalf who can code, but this tool also provides essential information about what it's going to code for us and how exactly it will do it. At this step, you can review the functional logic of the code provided below. And when it comes to code, Grimoire provides HTML, CSS and JavaScript code, along with some specific notes on how the code is functioning. I've tried the code and this is what the survey will look like. The design is indeed not very beautiful, but the code works well and JavaScript validates user input. So if you provide an incorrect value, you will see an error message. Consensus is the next GPT on our list. This GPT can help us with user research. We can ask Consensus about a specific topic and it will find a relevant research for us. For example, if I ask the tool how people react to humanoid robots, the tool will search its massive database of scientific papers and provide a list of researches relevant to this topic. Every research in this list references original paper, so you can click the link to see it. Also, GPT provides a nice summary of researches at the end of response. Negotiator is the next one we will discuss. This GPT trains us to become better negotiators, no matter what we want to do, whether we want to negotiate a better salary, a budget for usability testing in our organization. You can use this tool to create a negotiation strategy or role-play actual negotiation. Let's ask the tool to help us build a good strategy to negotiate for product buy-in from stakeholders. The tool tries to understand our intention and the context of interaction with stakeholders. So we will need to answer some specific questions about design solution we propose, our stakeholders and their expectations. Once you provide all this information, the tool will generate a handy strategy for you. Convert anything is the last GPT on our list. This GPT is versatile file converter. You can convert a file from one format to another, for example, from JPEG to PNG. Let's try this scenario. I have uploaded the image file and asked the tool to turn it into the PDF. The tool shows an error message, but you can ignore it since it still gets the job done. It provides a download link to the converted file, PDF, and when we click it, we will see the PDF file created for us. I hope this collection of GPTs will make your design work more efficient. Let me know in the comments if you discover other useful GPTs.